A local man accused of storming the U.S. Capitol just entered a guilty plea. He's one of two men from Pennsylvania appearing before Washington, D.C. judges today. Megan Schiller listened to today's hearing and joins us with more on the allegations. Megan. Ken and Christine, Russell James Peterson's mom posted on Facebook that her son stormed the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. She said he sat in House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's chair. That post on social media sparked one of her Facebook friends to call the FBI. The FBI says Russell James Peterson traveled from Beaver County to D.C., storming the U.S. Capitol on January 6th and live streaming it twice on Facebook. Investigators with the FBI posted these pictures, lining up the exact moment the Capitol's closed circuit TV system captured Peterson walking through the crypt, cell phone up, live streaming. Eight months later, and Peterson appearing via Zoom Wednesday from his Beaver County home. He entered a guilty plea to a D.C. judge, meaning he's up against a maximum of six months in prison. He faced four charges from the Capitol insurrection, but pleaded guilty to one misdemeanor, parading, demonstrating, or picketing in the Capitol buildings. The judge dismissed the other three charges. As part of his deal, Peterson agreed to give investigators access to his phone and social media accounts. He's one of nearly two dozen people from Pennsylvania arrested for their involvement in the Capitol riots. Another man from Old Forge entered his guilty plea over Zoom with another judge from D.C. He's accused of chartering four buses to D.C. to support former President Trump. Frank Scavo also pleaded guilty to just one charge, the same one as Peterson, parading, demonstrating, and picketing in the Capitol. His attorney described Scavo as very regretful, wishing he was never at the U.S. Capitol that day. Now, Peterson told the judge he first entered the Capitol that day to use the restroom, saying the porta potty situation wasn't ideal. The judge then asked him, are you suggesting someone from the Capitol invited you inside to use the bathroom? To which he answered, no. His guilty plea means no trial and he'll face the sentencing on December 1st.